All right, so I was here recently and I found on this air handler, the main power, they've got a number eight Romex feeding the disconnect here. But as you can see, the orange, that's number 10 coming out, feeding the actual air handler. So this has 7.2 kW electric heat kit. So it calls, if you look at the nameplate, it calls for a 40 amp circuit. So what I'm gonna do, all I, all I need to do is just swap out this here and then put in some 40 amp fuses and we should be good. So I just, I just picked up this, this whip number eight, uh, six feet. So that should be plenty to kind of do a loop up high and then come down to be out of the way. So that's what I'm gonna work on now.
All right, so just gonna strap this up, get the power turned on, make sure everything's working right, test the electric heat. Should be pretty much good to go on this one. All right, that pretty much wraps up this job for today. Basically, uh, to kind of recap what I did, I was here just the other day and I found the uh, the load side high voltage to the air handler was just undersized. Uh, like I said, number eight wire, which is good for you know 45 amps feeding that disconnect. And then they reduced it down to number 10 going into the actual air handler. And uh, with that air handler, it has 7.2 kilowatts of electric heat, which means that it calls for 40 amps of service. 
um, doesn't pull 40 amps, but that's what basically max um, circuit amps is what it's rated for. So you wanna make sure that your breaker or your fuses are sized for 40 amps. And then you wanna make sure the wire is rated for at least 40 amps. So obviously I ran a number eight, so we're good there. Um, other than that, just kind of cleaned it up a little bit, you know, um, you know, secured it, secured that low volt wire going up. And it's actually a lot better now because it's up high and out of the way before it was kind of shooting straight across and you kind of had a duck underneath to go, you know, to get on the other side, if you wanted to check out, you know, the return side or anything like that. So, um, I think they're good for now. We're kind of baby in this unit along, um, we, you know, the system does have a leak and we're, we added refrigerant to it last year. So we're kind of just pushing it along for now. Um, and it, but the customer wanted to make sure that at least the wiring was sized properly for this unit. That way, uh, you know, it's good to go. There's no fire hazards or anything like that. I'm surprised that it's been installed like this since the beginning. Uh, I was talking to the customer about that and apparently, I guess who they, whoever they bought the house from years ago, <laughs> the upstairs wasn't finished and it wasn't conditioned. And uh, I think the realtor or maybe the previous homeowner did it themselves. So they kind of slapped it in there uh, and it shows. So we had a good good conversation about that. So whenever we, you know, upgrade the system in the next year or so, obviously we'll, ha we'll, we'll go through it and make sure everything looks really good uh, install wise and that sort of thing. But for now, I think that's good enough. It's it's gonna be safe, it's running, uh, it's doing what it's supposed to, so can't complain with that. But anyway, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, give it a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing and you got anything out of it. Hopefully you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you later.